I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers, and today I'm going to share a fun project with you using the Fuse tool and the new Fusible products. We have a card kit that is in the Fusibles line, and that allows you to make 10 different cards. Um, it's got five shaker cards and five regular cards, and it comes with everything you need to make those, the card bases, the um, die cut embellishments, you've got envelopes and you've got these little um, photo sleeves that are two and a half by two and a half to make your shaker pockets. So as I was looking at this card kit, I thought this is a perfect mini album kit. So I decided to make a fun mini album using the card kit, which you can see right here. And I'm gonna show you how to make this using basically just the items in the card kit. And then I also pulled in just a few embellishments from the ephemera kit that we sell in the Fusibles collection. So this is a lot of fun and easy to do. You can do this in an evening, no problem. So let me put that back and I'm gonna walk you through some steps, okay? So first what you're gonna do is take one of the card bases that's made for the shaker cards. And if you'll notice, I'm gonna open this up. You've got two holes. Um, for a shaker card. Okay, so what we're going to do is on one side, let me pull this album out one more time. If you notice on the cover here, one side's got a photo and the other side's got a shaker pocket. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so we're going to take this base and I've got a photo inside my little photo sleeve and this is a two and a quarter inch square photo and it in, fits right inside the two and a half inch square pocket perfectly. So I'm gonna place this down on the back side of this card base. And then I'm gonna take my fuse, make sure that's straight. And we're just gonna run this along the edges of the photo sleeve to fuse that down. And it doesn't really matter so much right here if it's straight or not, because you're not going to see this backside once you put your album together. Okay, so let me do that one more time. I just missed the edge there. Okay, perfect. All right, and I love this mat. Let's talk about this for a minute. This is a heat proof mat. It's got measurements on it, inches on it, so you can use it for measuring your projects. It's also got this handy holster down here that hangs off your work surface for placing um, your fuse in when you're not using it. And I love that because there's no danger of accidentally burning yourself as you're reaching around your work surface since it's not right on it. So it's facing down in there and um, it's just a much safer way, I think, to use the fuse. So I love to use this mat. All right, now we're gonna make a little shaker pocket. So I've filled one of these little photo sleeves with some of the sequins that come with the card kit for the shaker pockets. You could add um, glitter in there. You can add um, your own confetti that you make if you use the do-it-yourself party confetti punch. Um, you can put whatever you'd like in these little pockets. So again, I'm just gonna place this over the hole and I'm gonna scoop my sequins in kind of towards the center. And then, whoop, we're just gonna run the fuse tool along the edges. Again, it doesn't really matter how straight it is as long as you get it fused down to your card base. And what's so fun about these fusibles, paper, and um, products is they're totally unique. They are plastic paper that melts with the fuse tool and so you really don't need to use any other adhesive, maybe a little bit for, for some things, like for adhering the pictures to the paper, but you can really just use your fuse tool and make a whole project with it. It's really fun. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this flap over and we're gonna put a line right here. Okay, and again, this one doesn't matter so much because it's on the inside of your page. So we're just gonna run that right up. And then we're gonna fold this over so now you're gonna see these lines on the outside. So you want them to be fairly straight. So I'm gonna use my ruler. And what's so fun about the fuse and using it on the fusibles paper is it kind of has the look of stitching um, without a sewing machine. So that's really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this straight up. Now when I'm using the fusibles, um, it's a little different than using a photo sleeve. 
I find that I need my heat, uh, my fuse tool to be really hot, make sure that the heat's really high. And then I go a little bit slower with a little more pressure than I do with the photo sleeves. Just to make sure that it, um, it adheres together for you. Man, I love this tool. I, when it came out, I was so excited and I loved all the possibilities that it had um, with photo sleeves and um, such, a, such a fun tool. And then they came out with these fusibles papers and embellishments and it just kicked things up a whole notch. It was amazing. These fusibles products are so fun. It's like a whole new world of crafting. So, Okay, so then we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. So the Fusibles collection comes um, with also 12 by 12 paper and 6 by 6 paper. So if you want to incorporate some of that into your album, you could do that too. Um, the kit comes with envelopes for your cards, so you could include those in and put some memorabilia in your album as well. Lots of fun possibilities. So there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is flip this back over. And I've got a few of the die cut embellishments from the kit and from the ephemera pack and I'm just going to start fusing these down. Let's see. So here's the fun part. You don't need any adhesive. Maybe I'll do that. I like to have a little bit kind of that um, overlaps onto the photo. So we're just going to run it at an angle this time and use my ruler so that I make sure I get over the sentiment as well as the flowers. Okay, and then we'll put this little butterfly kind of up here at the top, and we'll go this direction. Okay. All right, so then once you've finished all of your pages and you've fused them all together, you're just going to take your cinch tool and you're just going to slide that right in. Now I'm going to pull the 9, the 10, 11, and 12 and just slide that right in. Okay, so there you go. And then you just bind those pages together with the binding wire for the cinch and you've got yourself a fun little mini album made with the Fusibles card kit. It's a really fun project, super easy. Again, I, like I said, you can do it in an evening. Um, and using the Fuse tool on these new fusible papers is so much fun. So thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers.